Hey guys, welcome back to another X Corday Let's Play of Demon Souls. Guys, you may notice my face is missing from the screen, and that's because I am going to try doing some episodes without the face cam. Um, I felt like it was unnecessary for this, since most of this series that I'm doing, unlike Nessology, where this is just more of a simple, not simple, but more of a let's play, um, that doesn't require as much of the editing as, as Nessology does. I just felt that the face cam was a little too much. I felt like it was getting in the way of some of the action. The way that I had to do my setup, I wasn't really too happy with. Um, just because, you know, I had to place the microphone in a certain place, and I just felt like the, the quality of the sound of my voice wasn't quite what I wanted it to be. I didn't want it to be too echoey. So we're going to try it like this, and you guys just tell me what you think in the comments. I honestly want to know what your thoughts are, if you liked it better with the cam, if it's better like this. I feel like actually hearing me speak is a little more important than seeing my beautiful face. And, um, yeah, we'll just go from there. We're just going to go from there. Because I don't think you guys need to see my living room and or my face. So, anyway, getting into the game now. Um, oops, whoops, 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 whoops. Been playing Dark Souls, thought I had a shield. I do not have a shield. Alright, there's some friends down there. Um, anyway, so, to explain what's going on, I did some off-camera kind of beefing up. I strengthened up my spear, did some leveling up, collected some items, did some, did some soul farming and whatnot, and, uh... Yeah, so we're a little bit stronger than where we've been in the past. So, I'm leaving Latria for a little bit because I was getting a little overwhelmed. And I, I don't want to continue on the same area constantly. So we're coming back here to Boletaria Palace. Where we defeated the Tower Knight. And we're going to move on past that. Well, maybe we won't be able to. A thick, colorless fog holds you back. Only those who have slain an archdemon may pass beyond this point. Well, I have not slain an archdemon, I guess. Yep. Well, so that, that guys, is, is what I call, um, changing the plans a little bit. So, we're gonna go back to the Nexus. <laughs> Aren't you? Oh, guys, this is, this is an episode just that is gonna be riddled with excitement, as you can see. So far, we've done so much. <laughs> oh, okay, so Archdemons. Archdemons didn't realize that was a thing. Didn't realize Archdemons were going to have a place in this. So, um, well, I do want to go somewhere different and explore some different areas. We've been through the Tower of Latria a lot. It's getting interesting, I will say. Let's see what else. Let's see what else we got. The Shadowman. That sounds intimidating. And the Chieftain. I'm gonna check out the Shadowman. What do y'all think? Shadowman. The Shadowman. An island shrine of the Shadowman. Who worship storms and mourn the dead. Well, I'm glad they at least mourn the dead. At least they're not, like, totally heartless. Here the storm beasts fly above. And the souls of the dead inhabit empty skeletons to move about freely. Alright, so we can expect to see Skeletors moving, moving about. Those are always fun to battle. Well, I can tell you right now, just from reading the first three words of this, that I'm not too excited about exploring it. This damp valley. Now, just those three words, guys, tells me that this is a place that's going to suck. Because damp valleys mean swamps. Now, there's already a swamp region in Latria that is real scary. This Let's just read the rest, just to humor this person that that wrote up this paragraph so kindly this damp valley is the resting place of those who have been thrown away that sounds so sad good god overtaken by poison and plague the dwellers attack anyone who wanders into the valley hoping to offer souls to the woman who showed compassion so there's a woman who shows compassion in this damp valley now that may pique my interest we may have to check that out. Now, Boletari Palace, we can't advance anymore. The Burrow King. Let's see what they're all about. Now, I did go here just to purchase some items, because there's a, uh, 
a guy right in the beginning of this area that sells sharp stones and hard stones, and I use that to upgrade my spear, so I kind of know what this looks like. But anyway, City of Burrowers, keepers of the huge tunnel. Most of the stubborn excavators who supported the soldiers of Boletaria had their souls taken. Lacking their own will, they mindlessly continue working. Well, dear lord, you know, these guys sound like hard workers. So where do we want to go? We've got a town of real hard workers. We've got a damp swamp with a compassionate woman. And we've got moving skeletons and shadowmen. Well... I want to find this compassionate woman. Let me tell you that right now. Let's warp to the selected area. Yeah. I've never been to this area, so I'm actually real curious. I've actually never been to the Shadowman area or the damp valley of destruction. So we shall uh, we shall discover things together, friends. Let's do this together. Now the episode's actually getting going. Aren't you guys excited? I'm pumped. I'm, I'm really pumped that my original plan so quickly went south. Sorry, I turned my head there for a minute because... I'm uh, doing some decorating of my house, and there was a mirror that I set out. It's just leaning up against the wall, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw the reflection of my screen, and it kind of freaked me out just, uh, just a smidgen, because I didn't know what the heck it was, and I'm sitting in a dark room. And I'm very easily scared, which is why playing horror games is not really for me. This is actually a pretty cool level design. Is it... Well, aren't you just a sweet, gentle giant? Not a gentle giant. I don't know why I called him a gentle giant. Sometimes words just come to my mind and I say them. I I'm not going to lie to you guys. Sometimes I just say things just because a word comes to my brain. So, it's just the way that I am. Which really... A renowned hero soul. Well, I'm glad he's renowned. Really glad that he's renowned, because, well, can I hop up there, please? Oh, no, do not fall. You Sometimes you climb up, you surprise me. You didn't this time. I guess I gotta go this way. What's up, bruh? Bougies. And a little bit more bougies. I bet that hurt. That sounded like it probably hurt. I'm gonna go to my flame toss. There's woo. Nearly went off the edge. So I, I, again, I just want to reiterate because this is... The way the PlayStation 3 works with my screen capture device, it's, it's, it's not really... I guess something with the PlayStation 3... You guys must be weak to fire. What the hedge was that? Did you guys just drop... Did it, are you guys just dropping bricks from above? That would not be cool. You are sweet looking. You just look like a darling princess. Die. Wow. So, probably my favorite thing about Demon Souls, Dark Souls, but really any From Software game, is their design. I mean, the atmospheres that they create, the enemies that they design. These guys are some freaks of nature when it comes to designing. That I, I envy. I really do. Anyway, I think I was going to say something. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I'm so freaking scatterbrained. My god. You are in a sitting position. Are you, uh... You alright, bro? Yep, you're dead. Okay, well. Oh, yeah, I was saying about how from software... These guys are so freaking creative. I can only hope... I can only hope to one day be as creative as these guys. Because as you guys might know, maybe you don't, because I know, you know, I'm so popular and everybody knows everything about me. Um, X Corday Entertainment, although a YouTube channel, is also my aspiring to be game development company. And I am, wow, I'm glad he kamikaze himself right out of here. Who's going to burn first, brah? Who's going to burn first? Oh, dear lord. Glad that guy. These guys are... Yep, 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 yep. Ooh, spear to your chest, bro -ham. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. 
Get off my bridge. My bridge. Holding down the fort. That's what I do. There's some items down there. Hmm. We'll see if I eventually end up there. I don't want to go taking chances since this is a, a new area. I did collect some more healing items while I was soul farming. Anyway. Oh, well, excuse you. Um, you're not dead. And that... Whoa, 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 whoa! Get out of here! Oh, flailing all about, sir. Get, get. Just, yeah, down that hole, that's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, so I I'm working on a game, and obviously Dark Souls and all of those games have such a special place for me that I can only, I can draw so much inspiration from the stuff that From Software puts out there. Especially the Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Sekiro type games. The Soulsborne genre. They just, they mean a lot to me. Um, you were still alive? Uh, now wait. I'm pretty sure your health bar... Whoa, what is that guy doing? Wow. That's a rough death. That's a rough death. Uh, I, wow. I actually feel a little bad. You guys, however... Okay. Well, you know. That's productive. Yeah, I know, that that sounds like a moon and groan type moment. I'm just gonna do this all day. I got I got all day. I've got MP regenerations and stuff that I can do. Alright, guys, get off my bridge. Oh, get get off the bridge. Get off. Get 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 Thank you. Anybody else on my bridge? This is my bridge too, by the way. All the bridges are mine. Anybody getting up? Are we? Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I... Guy, I, I admire your resilience. However, die. Thank you. Um. Yeah. So, Xcord Entertainment. Uh, you know, it's. It, I'm working on. What was that? Cl oh, ladder. Climb down. What's down there? I want to see what's over here first. Seems like there's... You know, I saw that coming. And yet... Oh, wow. We're... We're... A.K.A. Screwed. Yep. And death. The death occurred. Because I had to be explorative. Why did I have to explore that rooftop? I didn't need to. There was a perfectly good ladder to climb down. And what ended up happening is I fell to my death. Because I fell and it became an uncontrolled situation. And that's just that's just what happens. So we're back here. All right. Cool. We're back for more. And I get to murder some more of my friends. You know what? We're going to switch to the shield. We're just going to switch to the shield here. You guys are really mean. And I feel the need to shield from your attacks. Alright. Well. Is this going to collapse? Yeah. I got a spear. I got a pokey device. Not to be confused with a Pokemon. This is a pokey spear. That's a horrible joke. I I apologize. Yep, 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 yep. Back it up, sister. Back it up. What do you what are you gonna do? That seems legit. Do not even think about it. Do not. I love the ragdoll effects in these games. And I feel like as the Soul series went on. I feel like they started doing less of it. Like, Dark Souls 3, you don't really get any of the ragdoll stuff. Not nearly as much. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. There's bugs on the wall. I just realized that. That's friggin' nasty. Could you... How... That's not fair. 
can't see. Right, so. Oh God. All right, cool. You guys. So there are some flaws with the camera in this that I shouldn't have so many obstructions, but you know, what do I know about anything? I am not from software. It's over here. Did I go over here? Probably. Yeah, I did. I remember this now. That's my bridge that I have to reclaim. Let's switch back to the flames. Ooh. Heck yeah, man. Dude, this is my bridge. Oh, no, you're trying to claim. This is my turf, bruh. Yourself. Aren't you silly? Watch you fall to your death. I love that. Oh, that's satisfying as anything. Examine this corpse. Oh, crescent moon grass. That guy has flaming arrows in his back. Wow. But yeah, come on. Come on over. Come on. Come on, you silly thing, you. You know, you know. Yep, yep. There, there he goes. You could even... <laughs> I actually heard him hit the ground and then yell out. That is so fun. Talisman of God? Ooh, does that mean... So one of the things I got, I bought a miracle to heal myself, and then realized, oh yeah, like in all the other Souls games, the little wand here, my catalyst, does not do miracles. But now I have a talisman of God, nonetheless. Of God. So you know it's legit. So what I wanted to do... Let's see, what, what's... Yes. Can I use it? I can't. Oh, friggin' pumps. How much healing does that do? It uses quite a bit of magicka. That may come in handy though. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm gonna keep the talisman of God. Well, wow, this. I want to know what went down here. So we've got bugs eating a guy that still has f flaming arrows in his back. Actually, more torches. Dude, who does that? It wasn't enough that they killed this guy. They had to stab him with torches to light their way. We got a holy man that died here. Bugs eating a corpse. A lot of dead animals. A lot of dead animals. Something went down up in here, and I don't think I want anything to do with that. Let's get out of here. More corpses. This, this is a place that lived up to its name. Let me just tell... Yeah, let's assign the proper spell, friends. Come on! Oh! Ooh! You dead, son! Come on up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You went a different path. I did not expect you to go that path. Just, 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 just stop. Just, oh, you are dead. Okay, cool. I did not expect you to go that way. Thought you were going to follow the yellow brick road and go the same way the other guy did, and you did not. You threw me off, you smart little thing. All right, we're back on this bridge. And guys, let me just tell you, this bridge, you know what? Oh, yeah, I forgot. This spell pierces through enemies, and I can take out multiples at a time. That's freaking awesome. So those narrow passages like that? Yeah, check it, check it, check it. I think one guy fell. So, you know. Come on, dude. Here. Enjoy the flames of destruction. I think I thought it was death, or is he just a little behind? A little slow. But this place is so hectic. This place is creepy too, man. I thought Latria was scary. This place is equally as creepy. This is seriously just like... What's that place that nobody likes? It's just gone out of my head. I am so horrible at this, guys. So horrible at this. Uh, Blight Town. Thank you. Thank you, Brain, for recalling such things. I'm trying to figure out 
the best way to go about going down there. I wish I had a grenade. Yeah, I feel like if I had a frag grenade, I could just literally clear out that whole area and we wouldn't have no issues. Except that it probably would take down this entire structure as well, so... You know, there's that. There's that... Yeah, no. How do I get down there? Appropriately. Oh, guys. How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to effectively get down in there? Really? Are you guys climbing up ladder? Oh, you are! That's cool. I'll just draw him up. Hey! Hey, come up the ladder! I'm here! Ladies! Gentlemen! Boys and girls! Come up the ladder and you may be able to destroy me! Alright, there are fighting over that ladder, and you know what, I think, uh, I think I'm gonna just do this. Hey guys, you all did, son. Here's some more magic, and that's how that's done. Wow, I actually feel pretty awesome. You regained your lost soul. Well, cool. I'm pretty sure there's more than one. But I'll take the I'll take a soul. All right, got some more crescent moon grass. We are officially what I would say cooking with gas. The center of fog always makes me a little leery. Oh, that is a gorgeous sound. That that sounds so appetizing. I haven't even had breakfast yet today, and let me tell you, I don't think I need any. Because hearing that is turning my stomach in directions I didn't even know was possible. Wow. wow. That is some momentum. You got... W excuse me? <laughs> I didn't know you were so excited, Fran. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is the- I feel like I should be censoring this. This- <laughs> Oh, guys, you can't- I can't stage such things. I feel like I'm gonna fall off of this ledge. Somebody just fell. Oh my god, that's priceless stuff. My god. I- I- I'm not even gonna comment on it any further. You guys saw it. You know, you know and I know what's happening up in here. And it's not what I would expect, let me tell you. It's not what I would expect to be happening in a damp valley. Alright, well, clearly, yeah, I wanted to use my flames. <laughs> We're just going to use some old spice. Do 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 do. I can't do that whistle, so you know, it's the best you're gonna get out of me. Anybody else? I hear a twinkling thing. Wow. Okay. Wow. 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 Who's moving? Who's moving? And why are you moving? Such patterns. Oh God! Just back it up, Broham. Jeez! I was just gonna say how I love having the spear because the amazing reach it has, but clearly if you're on a hill, doesn't do you much good. Faint stone. Wow, we are finding things I wouldn't have even imagined. Unknown hero's soul. Well, an unknown hero isn't really a hero now, is he? It's called an unsung hero. That would be more appropriate. Anybody want to come across this bridge and create a line of enemies that are really easy to kill? Guys, this bridge has got a wobble effect. There's some wobblies. Anybody? That is a pustule. That is a pustule I don't want to have... It. Come on, guys. Really, I think it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. There are sounds right now that are freaking me out just a little bit. I do love the spear, though. The reach on this thing is incredible. Yep, 
Yep, that is a pustule. I don't know what happens if I do that. I don't know what's happening. This something seems mad. I don't know if that has like a status effect or what. I know I'm glad it's gone. Maros. And there's a lot of stones, man. I'm really curious what I'm going to be able to do with like my weapons and stuff. With such cool effects. Let's cast some flame and then let's jab you in the face with a spear. And goodbye, brother. It was nice knowing you. Not really. I didn't know you that long. Oh, guys, this is, this is a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys being here, because this is, this is good times. There are some interesting things going on around this place. What do you got? Saints robe gloves. I have a feeling that's for a fa- Ooh! I reacted and thought I had a shield. That was magic. And a random well-played maneuver with the little lock on my side. So the saint stuff, I have a feeling if I look at that, that that's gonna be more for a faith build based on what I've been finding here lately. Magic defense goes way up, well, a little bit up. The coat of plate is quite a lot, but it's also super heavy. Physical defense goes down a bit, but the weight of it The weight of it is far less. Slash defense. So overall defense goes down quite a bit. But I feel like that might do me some good saints gloves. So fire defense goes down a bit, but magic defense goes up. And blunt defense goes up. That's more things up than down. Wizard shoes. So fire, again, same situation. Yeah, we're going to go to the saint stuff. That looks cool. And it's still the silver cornet on my head. Wow, okay, you know what? We're looking kind of cool, man. We're looking kind of cool. This is a fitting thing with the gray hair, giant nose. I mean, you are looking the part, my friend. The schnoz. Wow, that, that bug is just really grossing me out. I'm not a bug person. Really not. Just not. What in the hedge is going on around here? N a whole lot of nope. A whole lot of nope. That's a oh, hole in my way. Oh, guys. Not a fan of little critters. In any capacity. guys out at this point. Alright, cool. Got rid of... I guess those were rats. Are they rats? I have to say... Wow, this rat is having a good time. All that for one crescent moon grass. That was fulfilling. Okay. Well, that is... not putting a lot of trust in my heart on that bridge. Let's see what's going on over here. Well, I can knock that down, I'm sure, and create a shortcut. So we're going to go on a mission. I'm going to take my chances across this bridge. That is a big dude. That's a biggins. That is a biggins. That is a biggins. No! No! Oh, dear Lord. Oh, I'm dead. And death has not occurred yet, and now it has. Now it has. Yep. That was an unexpected situation. Man, I do all that again. This area is insane, dude. Like, everybody goes on, you know, you, you see, like... Excuse me, was that supposed to spawn there? Because if it was, that was, like, the developers were just like, you know what, let's put a random board there just to fall, so the first thing they see is motion... In this area that's sketchy is, is crap. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. This area puts Blighttown to shame, honestly, in my opinion. 
Um, very similar kind of aesthetic, but honestly, I think even a little bit more difficult because it seems a little more expansive, honestly, than, than Blight Town did. So, um, come back and see more. I'm curious what to explore. I'm going to try to get caught up to where I was so that when you guys come back in the next episode, I will not have to do the same thing that you've already seen. So come back and join me next time on another episode of x -Core Day. Let's play. I'm the Nessologist, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.